So, <laughs> this is kind of weird. Let me pull this closer up. Sitting with Avery here, it's Tuesday. Avery doesn't like Tuesdays because of the trash tricks. And um, I am icing my foot because uh, I've had some trouble. I don't know whether it's bursitis or something else. I had to get new shoes and blah, 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 blah. blah. So anyway, I'm trying to take care of it. Um, and I was out front and mowed my lawn and got like way overheated and came in and took a shower. So um, I was looking at videos and uh, this is a, um, I guess a, a video response to Jude's um, Tuesday vlog. Um, she was, well, first of all, congratulations on the new subscribers. That's always fun. And um, I hope you get some uh, responses to, as to why they, uh, you know, why you've got that. Because I know it is a mystery, <laughs> especially if people don't say anything. Um, but I wanted to respond to your comments about um, making art and, and comparing. Um, I, don't, I don't personally know anybody that creates art that doesn't do that. <laughs> I think it's very common at the same time I think it can really sort of squelch energy. I know it does for me. It just sort of like, oh why bother? Um, or it just, it just creates, it doesn't, how do I put this, it kind of inhibits the, the free flow of, of the creative energy. So there's something that uh, Clarissa Pinkola Estes um, talks a lot of in her different um, books and um, a lot of her um, uh, audio, uh, particularly she has a series called, um, I think it's called A Dangerous Old Woman, and um, it's about being a crone, and there's like, uh, I think maybe four different sets, and one is called The Late Bloomer, and she talks a lot about creativity and, and um, art making or writing and that, and I was was very uh, sort of heartened because what she says is, you know, as far as the comparing stuff or thinking that somebody else does it better or has it together, uh, she says, everybody is an individual and nobody, nobody will ever be able to do or express what each individual does. They, they come to their artwork from their own experience and their own soul place and, and no one else will be able to express the way they express and I always thought yeah that's that's true and that always made me feel better about my stuff um, I sometimes even avoid looking too much at other people's work um, first of all I want to make sure that my ideas are original um, and, well, that's kind of part of it. I remember I heard Joan Rivers once say that she wouldn't go hear other comedians because she didn't want to be accused of, um, uh, somehow copying or plagiarizing. But, I mean, that's, that's a little extreme. I wouldn't say I don't look at anybody else's, but I, I try to temper, um, how I do that because you do get good ideas not necessarily to copy but you know as far as technique goes and that sort of thing so I thought that was really good um, and then also there's a great book I think it's David Orland two guys that wrote it together called Art and Fear that's one book and then the other one's called The View from the Studio they're both really easy reads and they're really good um, about approaching artwork in a really um, healthy way and, and it really helps it really helped me to avoid the um, the sort of pitfall of, of the comparison um, I honestly think that one reason why I like to do self-portraits is that 
you know, nobody else is going to do that because <laughs> that's me and, and, you know, putting myself in, in different settings and kind of doing it my own way. Um, yeah, and it's not just the comparison thing. It's the, you know, it's the, it's for me, it's when somebody looks at any of my images, can they tell that's their mind? Um, and I'm not talking just about the um, about the self-portraiture. And and I've heard people that I've known for several years online say that they can, which is which is nice to hear. So um, so yeah, so that's that's kind of my my take on that whole uh, question. It's a good one. It's a good conversation to have. I like that. <laughs> But um, anyway, uh, Jude, I hope you find out why people, you know, have been subscribing. I enjoy all your videos. Um, some, uh, um, especially some of the recent art ones are fun too. I like to see that it's not it's not something that I'm familiar with, and it was really neat to see the the, the jelly printing and, and that sort of thing. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all for now. Um, yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything else I was going to say. I was thinking about the whole comment about you don't see everything and feeling like other people have it together. <laughs> that is another common pitfall. It's it's just a snippet. I was having a I did a, a, a session with Kelly Ann once, a tarot um, reading, and and I had mentioned something like that, and she said, "You're not seeing the whole picture." She says, you're seeing this one snapshot. I think it had to do with partnerships, because I still, I still miss um, being married and, and being in partnership. Um, and she says, you're not, you're not seeing the whole thing. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that was a great video, Jude. I, I enjoyed that, and I enjoyed some of the things it prompted in me to think about. All right, bye.